Welcome back to the T Less Traveled. My name is Cam and I'm joined by Scott and Colton. And we're back at the Highlands at North Folk because there's been a lot of really cool changes. So let's get into this beautiful course. Let's do it. We're here at hole one. Uh, we're playing the longs today. It's a par three, 266. Uh, you can see it, the basket and you can see the short tee just up ahead. The shorts are 180 feet. Um, we'll see who can make it for a birdie putt. Oh, Ooh. not great. Nice. Should have gone maybe a little bit more overstable. That's all right. Just a touch. Ooh. Oh. Right in the tree, had a miss. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm really glad that. Good birdie. I managed to capture that, so that's dope. <laughs> that is oh. not my strong putt. Uh, there we go. That's awesome. <laughs> that was sick, man. Oh, I got really close, but my hands are so cold. All nice right. pot. Whew. I think this is the first time I've birdied this hole, and it's, it's, it's so like guarded, it's but so I love it. Well, that's not saying like I need to finish right, but if you get that far, you, you know. 25, 20 Welcome to hole two here at the Highlands at North Fork. We got a 550 foot shot. Uh, most of your work's gonna come off of your approach shot. Get as far as you can, it's pretty open. Some bunkers in the way down towards the green, some terrain to deal with, a little bit of OB on the right side of that cart path. Let's see how we do. Slipping. I play well. Shot. Sweet. Lots of glide, that'll work. Oh. All right, get away from the OB. It'll oh, that's right. great though. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Good shot. Yeah. Right. That'll right. work. Oh. Gonna go harp. Try and mimic what you did. It's a good choice. It might be a bit too hard. I still think your circle's edge at worst. Nice. I think we'll be about 20 feet. Yeah, right. I see what you're saying about wanting to be over here though. This is a much better approach angle. Ooh, yeah. I disagree. Do you? I like being left because then I can set up for the zone. Nice highs are in. I don't have to worry about trying to throw something straight at it. Like a zone's gonna finish left for me here. Something like a mid range or a putter from over here. Just the shot fits so much better in my throws. Good job, both of you guys. Thanks. We've played it once or twice. Yeah, you have. If I just hung out a little wider. Ah, sit. Okay. My hand is still all like, bro, what is this? This isn't Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> you have roll away potential. Meanwhile, yeah, I'm coming. I tried to keep it really flat. I was telling him I uh, did a video for my channel where I built a machine that can putt discs and figured out what causes rollaways. So uh, go watch that after this. Yeah, that sounds really cool, actually. All right, hole three. It's a par three. It's uh, 383 feet. It's in the cluster of trees over there. So you're kind of throwing this way, trying to get something to turn. There's a pond down the hill you can't see if you somehow manage to get in that OB. And there's a bunker out there that is also a uh, hazard. So let's see what they do. I'm glad I'm not going first. Uh, it'll be short and left, but I'll have about a 40 footer. Scary putt. You guys can't see that but he is to the left of Hazard. Going Saint. I like the turn. 
That's great. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> Another scary downhill putts. I know. <laughs> uh, again, I'm Colton Miller. I'm one of the course designers and volunteers here. Um, this summer has been kind of the biggest, uh, you know, most uh, attended, uh, you know, time I would say in our growth and development here. Uh, we have had leagues, putting leagues, um, you know, just bi-weekly uh, tournament leagues with different formats and it's, it's worked really well. We've had, um, our numbers are growing, you know, we're up to league members. I think we have a total of like 30 different unique members. So we're growing and um, Trixie's and the Highlands at North Fork has been really receptive to us. Uh, they've uh, really helped us grow to where we're at and we're excited to keep growing. And uh, I think Scott here has something to say about some uh, future growth too. Yeah, so the, the goal, the scope for the Highlands is always to put in an incredible 18 hole course here. And we know that we have the property to do so. Um, so we've been putting some work in. We've been uh, rough cutting in some new hole concepts, some new mm -hmm. greens, new tees. Uh, so looking forward to getting 18 here. Uh, I'd say as early as next spring. Yeah, just in time for this uh, potential C tier that we uh, submitted for approval. Um, hopefully that'll help happen sometime in March. Um, we're going with March meltdown. Uh, so if you're from the uh, Johnstown area or the Laurel Highlands, um, you're welcome to come out. And even if you're not, you know, come out, sign up for our C tier. Uh, we'd love to have you and show off uh, the beauty that we know this course has. So thank you guys for coming today. Cam, thank you so much for, for coming and uh, showing off our course. We really appreciate it, sir. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Oh, I think I hear it rolling. I see it rolling. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> it'll stop. A little bit rough, though. Good sit. Don't roll, please. When you play disc golf at the Highlands, you never wake up with the intention to lay up. It is a scary putt. Oh my gosh, okay. What the Save. Whew. I was like, that's hardly any win. It's gonna be fine. Not, well, at least I didn't do that. <laughs> Could have been that, way worse. That tree is your saving grace always. Imagine. All right. Oh man, that's why you lay up. Oh. I, mean, I would have liked to have made it, yes. We gotta end this. Nice. There we go. Uh, here we are at hole 4A at the Highlands. Um, the tee pad is actually right above my head, at least the short is, and so is the long. It's right up this cart path. It's 155 feet. All you gotta do is, you know, chip a putter down here, land in the grass, make your birdie putt. Ooh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh. Darn it. Oh yeah, just hazard not drop there. Correct, hazard not drop zone. So I got one heck of a putt here to save par. But at least we got a backstop. Get up. I didn't want it. A little standstill. Sit for me. Nice. Good oh. shot. Put real quick. Hopefully. Oh, that's so soggy. Oh my oh. gosh. That's why you think about your putts, dang it. <laughs> ah. And that's why this hole still isn't the easiest one on the course. Dang. I should have just been like, oh, think about it. Actually, give it the power it needs. Blast. Here we are, hole five. Uh, fairly simple hole. 312 on the 
on the card, but it plays uphill a good bit, so you got to get a pretty good pump on it. We also have a cart path here that winds up and around and is OB. As long as you can get far enough and finish left, you won't really have to worry too much about out of bounds. It's safe. That's all I was really looking for. Yep. Nice shot. I think I like that. Looks good. Looks like it's under the pavilion. Very nice. What a pump. Thank you. Good height. Oh. And I got the four by four to look to look around. Wow. This too. We needed that birdie. I feel very good about this. Great too. That may have been a foot fault technically for doing that. Ah, yeah. yeah. I didn't call I had it. the balance and then I set the <laughs> The ground was so wet it gave way. We don't count that here. <laughs> Hole six, par four, 433 feet. Uh, uphill, you've got two options. You can go this way, pushing at the OB, um, or you can go this way with the Anheuser. I used to do the Anheuser, but there's a few more scrubbly stuff growing up that way. So I'm gonna try to pump a hyzer, hopefully get the flip a bit and not go anywhere near OB. Keep blowing up. That was just too high. Well, I should have gone with my normal play. It's hard to hit trees when there's no trees. <laughs> the tree's not out yet on that one. I think on this hole, the key is just to get past that uh, pine that's in the middle of the gap. If you can just get past that pine, you know, you executed your tee shot. Ooh, I lucked out there. Get around it. I think I like that. Got lucky. Get around it. Oh, that's fair way. Like this it. is this is what I normally did. Fortunately, I'm gonna <laughs> That's why oh, I didn't go that man. <laughs> Hey, I like it. All right, let's do this. Flat to fade. Oh, come on, that was... Hey, course maintenance. It's up there. That was... I was trying to go a little wider. <laughs> That's a scary gap to commit to. All right. Get up. It's a good bid. Good bid. Oh, thank you. Uh, if we hadn't hit the scrubbage, it'd have been pretty good. Good eye. Ah. Close. Look at the sunbeams. No idea if that shows up. Nope, it doesn't. Hands are getting cold. Get up. Oh, wanted that birdie. Uh, here we are at uh, hole seven. Um, this is the make it or break it hole, in my opinion. Well, once you get here, uh, if your round's going good, uh, you might want to push it. If you've taken a couple bogeys, you might want to consider laying up for the par, but it's. Um, it's even hard to par it. Um, we didn't come to lay up today. Ooh, maybe we did. I like the short tee better. <laughs> the whole distance is 542. We're looking at a par four. It just phased through a million branches. A little low. 
I will be taking the alternate route. <laughs> Get up. Oh. Great kick. Not yeah. as high as I would have liked. They got beat down by the wind. Just then. Yeah. Alrighty. Happy with that. Good spot to be. Throw it into a rock. First time, first impact. <sighs> Great way to break in a new disc. First maintenance here. <laughs> I think I still like the forehand, especially from in here. Do I have to caution you against that, or? You think you should? Do I have to? Uh, I was gonna say, if you can get here with not throwing a forehand, um, Thick. Oh, sit. Yeah. Uh, here is a green one. I'll seize it. Now come backwards. That's really far. Pretty cool stuff there. Alrighty. It's gonna be kind of technical. Oh wow! Probably a good tree. Did that work out well? Yeah, like ten feet. I like that. Wow, that did not fit at all. Oh boy. I don't know why that did not fit. Oh, no change fish. needed. Cool. Should take a little bit more time. <laughs> that's why I go around. <laughs> yeah. That is a birdie that's not often seen. A little clean up. Happy with a bogey. Here we are, hole eight. Uh, it's one of the signature holes in the course. Big downhill bomber. Fortunately, uh, Cam's gonna give us a wind read. Dang, that turned a lot. So much wind. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh! Throw something more stable. I don't have stable things with me. <laughs> I like that spot. I wanna try my, my beef one, see what happens. That would have been Ooh. decent. A little tombstone action. <laughs> I know there's a hill there. We'll find out. Go ahead. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, gentlemen, Fantastic. that's a great bunch of approach shots. All right. Soft bed. Ooh, good cone, good cone. Hmm. Good catch. Just leave it. Hmm. Oh, heartbreak. Team hasn't putted in a month and a half. <laughs> Bro, I didn't have a course within 45 minutes of me. Thank you. 
The putt is feeling terrifying with how cold my hand is, but <laughs> gotta get close. All right, uh, we found ourselves here at hole nine. It's a 500 foot par four. Uh, you start out throwing a uh, kind of a placement shot off the tee. Uh, the second shot is really challenging. Uh, it's, a, it's a tunnel shot up into the, to the green and there's some uh, a st steep ravine behind it. So you can't, you gotta be perfect on your drives. That's pretty good. Ooh, a little high. I'm really good at like throwing this one in short or throwing it in long. So it's easy to do both of those things. Yeah. All right, that was a uh, lower than intended. <laughs> at least I got over that. I was trying to just like get to the a mouth of it instead of trying to go in it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Short. A little inside. All right, another 30 feet this way would have been terrific, but so it goes. Wow, that, I don't know what I just did there. I, I was like, throw it soft, and then just threw really hard. Like, that's what I was trying to do right there. It's about all you needed. Oh, wow. You're over the hill. You good, Cam? Yep. Get around it. Ooh. Oh, it's a putt. That was a pretty shot. What would a flippier done? Same gap. Yeah. I mean, that's that's all I have. <laughs> Well, that's a little high. Whew. Oh, that's so bad. Cold hands. Darn it. Also, you're right, that is very wet in there. My foot was like, whoop. Yeah. Alrighty, let's make this comebacker. We need it. Good catch. Good catch. Hole 10, 370, right up there on top of the hill. Very uphill, a little bit of a breeze, but beautiful hole. Nice shot, sir. I'm coming on the hut. Not that one, but much rather be right side than left side. <laughs> left is brutal. <laughs> Keep flipping for him. Yeah. Nice shot. Still left it short. One. All right, sit. Good sexy approach was much better than the zone. Oh, thorns. Kick off? Yeah, a little bit. Now there's one in my hair. <laughs> well, on my head, but. Ha! Ah. Ah. Drop, oh. I sat. No! Dang. That's this brutal. whole do it to you. Here we are, we are at hole 11, 850 feet, way downhill. You're gonna have a bunker hazard out of play on your tee shot. There's a tee in the middle of the fairway you're gonna have to navigate as well. And then we've got three bunkers down by the green that play as hazard. Let's see if we can make it happen. Par four. Danger is definitely right. Oh, 
I caught stuff, dang it. That's, that's maybe the worst you could be on this hole. Base of the pine tree. <laughs> the, uh, the right side's rough. I guess it, yeah. It's, at least you're up above. Like that's gonna be pretty nasty. All right, Scott, do us proud. <laughs> okay, do us proud. Oh yes, very nice. Yeah, one of us can hit it. That's a great shot. Look at oh, that wind. My left. goodness. I don't win at the end. I want to throw one just for yeah. fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fun hole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what's better. This one is Eight. the top of the world one. The gap off of this one is more interesting. Get left. Any stability? Eyes on it. I Fight back. It. I mean, that went really far. I heard it hit. I think what happened is on my tee shot, I was like, oh, I got to throw down. So I threw down. Yep. And my body was like, nah, throw that nose up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, not the best spot. It's not about going forehand. I think I'm just gonna do a standstill. Try to get this to flip. I think this will just have the best chance of me having a chance for the par. A little bit of course maintenance, but uh, not terrible. Back to the fairway. That was pretty good. Fade for me. Thank I you. Love the way you're doing. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I hit it perfect. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Give me some finish. Did it? I'm past the bunker, I think, from what I can tell. Very nice, very Berg nice. Berg doing Berg things. Berg doing Berg things. So, so close. These dudes right here. It's a little short. It's there. Oh. Thanks. Wow. Thanks. Wow. Uh, here we are at uh, hole 12. Uh, we're coming up to the last two holes. Uh, this is a pretty pretty straightforward shot. Uh, we do have a pond coming into play. It's a par three, 170 feet. Uh, if there's ever a basket on our course for an ace, this is it. Let's see if we can get one. Haven't yet. I don't think anybody has. Uh, short. Nice. Oh, oh, up. Oh. oh, no. I'm wet. Oh, now, now there's a big wind. Dang. Oh, you don't have to I wanted to go PA5, but this wind does not allow me. There we go. There's better height. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh, that's right. I've been sick. Not enough finish out of that one. Come on, get out of it. Oh! All right, he's at the drop zone. Ah. Without having to kneel, I'd rather not. I don't think we have an option.
great go. putt. Man, I thought we were both way closer. I know. Than this. Come on, hand. Dang it! Wow. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna bring a glove. Something. I like so got into my head, these little things. Dang. All right, final hole, hole 13, 285 feet, par three. It's uh, over there, a little bit of a dog leg going over the stream. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please take a chance to like, comment, and subscribe. See more cool courses that, in general, haven't been filmed before. And I just want to thank uh, Colton and Scott for having me out. And so, yeah, excited to see what this turns into with 18, and we'll be back to film another one. Well, that looks. Ah uh, oh, man, uh, I think I, I think I went above it though. Ooh, get through. It got through. All right. I'm gonna try and not take the sneaky things <laughs> that you guys went through. It's the biggest gap out there. Get off it. Oh, dang. So close. Whew. All right. Oh, it's gonna hit the log. Dang it. Good bid. What a scary putt. Oh, uh, that little branch, little ghost branch. Uh, it was just a little dead thing hanging. Man, big putt to try to end it. You're right, this log is uh, devastating. Beautiful. Second approach shot's up there. Come on. Oh. Oh. So close. Huh? Same thing. Started so great, ended so poor. All right, so that's the round. Uh, start, I started off really hot and then uh, kind of got a little bit garbo from there. <laughs> but uh, you guys have done an excellent job on course design. You've kept the, the holes that were like, these are awesome, added in new ones. And so I think you guys have done an excellent job. Excited to see what 18 looks like and to come out and play that one as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if other people want to come out and play this course, uh, what should they know? Like how they get out here, et cetera, and what do they do once they show up? Uh, you can check in at the pro shop if it's open. Um, donations are uh, very welcomed. Uh, shout out to the owner, uh, Brian, for you know offering up this property, allowing us to put a disc golf course on it. Um, if you do uh, swing by to play around, make sure you stop at Trixie's uh, before and or after. Um, get, get yourself some drinks. Uh, they also have some bands that play, so it's exciting. Great. Well, excited to see you guys the next time I'm out here. Um, but that's T Less Traveled. We'll see you again next time. Hey, if uh, you thought that course was a little bit too long for you, we do have short tees to offer as well. They're far easier and uh, designed to get you into disc golf. If you need some discs, we've got some here at the Pro Shop as well. So stop in, stock up, and go hit the course.